coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Strata Launch Carrier Aircraft completes fifth flight with new pylon. Mayday Stole Drag Races are on. American Airlines pilots hitting the presses. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Strata Launch Carrier Aircraft completes fifth flight with new pylon. Strata Launch successfully completed its fifth flight test of ROC, the world's largest flying aircraft. The aircraft flew for 4 hours and 58 minutes over the Mojave Desert and reached an altitude of 22,500 feet. The fifth flight debuted a new pylon on the aircraft's center wing that will be used to carry and release Talon A hypersonic vehicles. The hardware is comprised of a mini wing and adapter that is constructed with aluminum and carbon fiber skins. It weighs approximately 8,000 pounds and occupies 14 feet of ROC's 95-foot center wingspan, allowing for adequate space between the aircraft's dual fuselages for safe vehicle release and launch. The state-of-the-art structure also features a winch system that will load Talon onto the platform from the ground, reducing the need for ground support. Talon A vehicles are rocket-powered, autonomous, reusable test beds carrying customizable payloads at speeds above Mach 5. This testbed capability enables routine access to the hypersonic flight environment, which is critical for scientific research, technological development, and component demonstration. Initial results from the most recent test objectives include validation of the aircraft's general performance and handling characteristics with the addition of the recently installed pylon hardware, and continued validation of landing gear operations, including door functionality and alternate gear extension. And after the break, Rocket Lab seeks to reuse boosters. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Rocket Lab seeks to reuse boosters. Rocket Lab sent up its 26th Electron rocket, deployed 34 satellites into space, and caught a rocket booster after its re-entry from space with a helicopter. This mission popped up from Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand. After the first stage separated and returned to Earth, its drogue parachute deployed at around 6,500 feet, and their Sikorsky S-92 helicopter moved into provision and used a hook to snag the parachute line. Once the booster was on the line, the Hilo pilot felt the load characteristics to be different from what was previously experienced in testing and released it into the water below. Balloon Festival May 6th through 8th in Lakeland, Florida. Hot on the heels of Sun and Fun 22 with a bit of deja vu, we are compelled to inform you that there is a Balloon Festival weekend scheduled to take place from May 6th through 8th at Lakeland Linder International Airport. Yes, it's in the same place where Sun and Fun 22 was held just a few weeks earlier. So maybe you didn't need to give up that tent or rental or move your RV. You could probably have just rolled right into this balloon festival. New Horizons for former DOT Secretary Norman Mineta. Norman Yosio Mineta, former Secretary of the Department of Transportation from 2001 through 2006 and a host of other high-profile posts, passed away at age 90. He was the first Asian American to hold the office of U.S. Cabinet Secretary and other high-profile positions in the U.S. government. Mr. Mineta was highly respected for his ability to easily navigate the maze of political policies and applying that expertise to the U.S. transportation infrastructure, including road, rail, and air. 
New KBOS GPS 4L approach finally cleared. The need for additional approach access to the ever-busy and often contentious Boston area has been eased somewhat for now. The FAA has released the final environmental assessment for a new satellite-based approach procedure to runway 4 left at Boston Logan International Airport. The EA found that the procedure would have no significant impact in any environmental category, including aviation noise. The new procedure closely follows the path of the existing visual approach for runway 4 left. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Mayday's stole drag races are on. The Wayne Municipal Airport Authority has confirmed that the Mayday Stole Drag Races 22, an aviation, family fun, and outdoor event in Wayne, Nebraska, is back for its second year. Mayday Stole Drag Races is an air show and drag race all rolled into one and offers a new way for airplane enthusiasts and families to enjoy a safe event outdoors taking place this May 19th through 22nd. This year, we are lucky enough to have nationally recognized and local musical artist Adam Manichuri bring his band Aqua Dog to the main stage for the Saturday Night Mayday Bash. The Mayday Stole Drag Races offer all ages family fun with fast-paced, high-flying, short-landing airplane races in a safe outdoor event setting. Local food and drink vendors will be on site along with live music and other events for the whole family to enjoy. Aviation theme talks and opportunities to meet and greet the pilots and their planes will appeal to spectators with any level of interest in aviation. The Northeast Nebraska Aviators are a flight club based out of KLCG that were incorporated with the goals of pushing forward interest in aviation and advocating support and use of the local airport. And after these messages, American Airlines pilots hitting the presses. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. American Airlines pilots hitting the presses. The Allied Pilots Association, on behalf of American Airlines' 14,000 pilots, published an open letter to their new CEO, Robert Isom, who inherited the perch in March 22. The APA seeks to bring attention to the, quote, chronic underperformance plaguing the airline in the form of delays, cancellations, and lost baggage. A sore point of contention is that weather affects everyone, but why does American Airlines take so long to recover? This latter point is referenced in conjunction with the need for American to hire more competent pilots and beef up the current compensation package. American's pilots noted that their current benefits package is inferior to that of their competitors. Just last month, the Airline Pilots Association on behalf of Alaska Airlines pilots moved to secure the authorization to strike should negotiations on improving their benefits and compensation package fall through. The publication of the open letter on social media and a host of other newspapers appears to build on the April 14, 2022 lawsuit filed by the APA against the American Airlines Group when the latter decided to eliminate using experienced Czech airmen for their pilot training program. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.